Mark, congratulations on another three points for your side. A hard-fought performance. How would you assess that result? Exactly that. Um, we knew Mansfield were a good team. We knew that they'd be full of energy and lots of pressers from the start. And you know, we did our homework on them. But you know, what well, probably loads of things to work on really for us um, and improve on. We've said that to the players after that. But if we can if we can win games that way, then we'll take it. Especially when games come so thick and fast like they are then you know it's we set them foundations as a team collectively how we defend and how we how we, how we press from the front but also how we how we defend our box and it's always going to give us chances of winning football matches if we defend like the way we did i'll get your thoughts on those improvements but it's again that thing isn't it of finding a way to win you know maybe not playing your most attractive football at times but you're still grinding out results and performances it's almost like you've set a culture now within this side that you can you can take your chance and you can then just defend and consolidate yeah we feel that way in games that you know we've like i said that the way we do defend the box the way we we do defend as a team uh, will give us opportunities to win games but, and it's it's that mindset as well our focus and concentration is key to that really um you know it's not just a 1v1 duels it's it's more the the concentration and focus to, to follow runners and to to defend the box to win your aerial duels you know all these all these moments within games you know collectively it's, it's like i say it's giving us great opportunities to win football matches because we are so resilient defensively mm. um and it took that that moment of quality, a set play, and you know, Rowe was in the right place at the right time. So we're delighted for Rowe to get off the mark as well again. So, yeah, you know, we, we'll, you know, we're happy with with, with the win. Um, like I say, if we've got to win that that way, then, then we will. So those improvements then that you want to f see from your side. What have you said to them after the game? Exactly that. You know, we'll, if we've got to win this way, we will. But yeah, you know, we've got to improve in possession. You know, we. We've got to work harder to, to give options um, when teams come out of pressure that aggressively, and 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 even when when they do, when we go a little bit longer, we've just got to be better on our second balls, which I thought we were in the second half, but they changed formation, which gave us a little bit more of an opportunity to, to control the game. But again, you know, the, then they stick two up against our, our two centre half, so you know if if they do beat that press or, or that defensive shape, then. You know they're always going to be on our back line quick. So yeah, we, you know, loads of stuff. We want control with that type of management group team and who want to want to have control of matches, but it doesn't always work like that. You can't help but focus on the positives, though, given the run that you're on. That's five successive league victories now, which I'm right in saying is a record that was last achieved by the football club in just over 16 years, which is incredible. And the defence seems like it's at the heart of that run, particularly at the moment. How well are they playing together and, and how well together is that back four? Yeah, it's, it's you know, obviously, and... and Pardy have got a great relationship and Ant's doing a fantastic job for us at right back. I thought he's been one of our best players in the last three or four games um, out there and he shows his qualities in possession as well as you know how, how well he does defensively. Um, but then Naz has come in there and he's, he talks really well and help, helps the players around him and in front of him. Um, and, and Wood is just consistent in what he does. You know what he's like, he's been here a long time and yep. he's you know, a player who plays every minute and you know we know the consistency you're going to get out of Woody. So, yeah, collectively then as a unit, they, they've got that togetherness, you know, that, like I said, it's uh, more the focus and, and concentration for me that, that's been, been key to it. Um, because you know you see it late on in games how many times somebody switched off, don't go over a runner, don't don't do his defensive duty and and, and we concede and you know we've got that stick togetherness and you know we're, we're defending our box really well. We've spoken a lot about Niall's performances lately because of how well he's played, but but how big an influence does he have on the rest of of the back four, particularly Pordy, who just seems to grow game by game by game. Yeah, I think it's a collective thing. I think Pod is already sure before Naz came in how important he is to this group of yeah. players and he's got the captain's armband. So, like I say, they do bounce off each other, they do work well as a two, but, you know, it's it's a collective unit that he's at back for and the goalkeeper. So, yeah, we, you know, we're delighted of the impact Naz has made to the team and, you know, as long as that, that maintains that, that, that focus and, and, you know, that togetherness as a back, back four. On Danny Rowe, it felt like an important goal for him this evening. Um, back in the starting eleven, given Andy Cook's in a, ineligibility for playing against his parents' side, but but good for for Danny to get back amongst the goals. Yeah, he's like any striker. He's a he's a confident plays on confidence. You know, he wants he wants he wants goals. Um, and then he, you know, 
he started so so bright for for us and and you know made a real impact in his first couple of games and you know like Danny who always wants to improve and always wants to wants to get goals for the team and do his job for the team that way so you know I was happy with with how it, what he did out of possession as well today um, you know that we always look at his goals and always want him to score goals and keep improving on that but he's got to do the defensive job which which you know he showed more and more today um, that willingness to to press and and being better positions on on transition so yeah we're, we're we're happy with Danny's performance today on the changes that you made in specific Ollie Crankshaw was that because of the early booking that he got in the game was that just to protect him yeah exactly that um you know he's on a yellow he's He's a player who always wants to wants to improve and his game's on kind of pressing and energy. So it, we, we couldn't take the risk with the game being so tight, so we had to make the change. And, you know, you're bringing someone on like Clark, who's got all that experience and to help us get over the line. Um, just on the run that you're on and the incredible form that you found yourself in that's, that's climbing up the table. Like, and I know that I, I square this question at you every time that we speak to you. That I'll remiss myself from talking about the playoffs, but... Is the, has the has the focus changed now from survival? Uh, what 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 are the uh, the you know is it mathematically are we clear? Yeah. You know I think that's our focus. You know we've come into the job as our remit is are we clear? And when we are mathematically clear, and I don't know if we are today, but when, when that number's done, and then then you can focus on your next goal. Uh, I think that's that's how I work. That's our, our short and long term goal. To, to make sure that this, this club stays in this league. I know we're in the mid-table, but it's so tight, I keep saying it. But when when we are, I think then you can ask us the question of, yeah. of our next goal and what we're going to set as a team. How do you keep yourself level in, in that in that moment? And how do you keep some of the younger players maybe level? Because it's it's easy for us guys to get excited. It's certainly easy for the, for the fans to get excited. I've said it before, you, you're in a bubble and you know we're just here to work hard and 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 get results and that's that's the mentality we've got as staff and that's the mentality that we've got as players. We just want the next game, we want to get three points and we want to find a way to win games and you know if we keep that mentality and just focus on the short term goals which is the next game, um you're always gonna give you opportunity to, to climb the table. Final question from me before we hear from Danny Rowe because he's waiting patiently behind us in his shorts as well, which is just incredible in this weather. Um how big a factor will rotation be? And I know it's something that's come up with yourself and Connor, but we've spoken about physical fatigue. We've spoken about mental fatigue as well. That, that the run is relentless that you're on at the moment. So, so how big will that be? Or, or do you feel you've got enough to, to, to keep playing these players? Because only one change tonight. Um, it is important, but if you can keep that, that core group together and, and people... If they do dip in form or they are fatigued, somebody's going to come in and take that spot, and you're only changing one or two. It's like anything. If you change your back four and you, cha you know, you change players so frequently, you, you're going to start, you know, taking away them relationships which which we've created as, as a team. Hmm. So, yeah, it's massively important is a is, is a rotation of of players. Um, and you've seen tonight that you know if, if players are looking too fatigued, then you've got to make the change because you saw today when 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 Chaz is kind of I think he was he made such a great impact first half, especially in possession for us to get us up the pitch. He just kind of you know ran out of legs and the change to Jordan, you know it, it was great for us. He was able to get pressure on the ball and mm. Clayton's coming on later on and doing his job uh, both in and out of possession. So yeah, it, it is important and we've got a great group of, and a good squad together now that. That you know, hopefully we can, you know, whoever you bring in is going to do just as good a job as as the player who started.